Hello, this is Sebastian from Native Instruments. In this video, we will explain how tempo synchronization in Traktor works using the master and sync functions. The Traktor software provides several ways to operate and synchronize the tempo between decks. This can be done either manually by adjusting the tempo fader, for example with a fader on a hardware controller, or by pitch bending, for example by pushing the jog wheel on a controller or the platter of a turntable in a timecode setup. Tempo synchronization can also be done automatically by pressing the sync button on a deck. To understand how to work with tempo in Traktor, we will now explain the concepts behind master and sync, as well as some options in the Traktor preferences. The master clock panel located in the global section is a central component of Traktor. It coordinates the tempo and beat synchronization of decks, of tempo-based effects such as delay, and even external applications via the MIDI clock function. Please read the article linked in the About section of this video to learn how to use MIDI Clock Send in Traktor. To display the Master Clock panel, make sure that the option Show Global Section is enabled in the Global Settings section of Traktor's Preferences and that the Master Clock is shown by clicking on the metronome icon. Note that all the functions of the Master Clock will remain active even when the panel is not visible. Whether you are beat matching manually or syncing between several decks, the Traktor software always defines a master tempo source to which other decks, effects, and loops can be synced. You can let Traktor assign a master tempo source automatically or you can assign it manually to any deck. To do this manually, make sure that the auto button is disabled. You can activate master for any deck by pressing the deck master button. The deck is now the Tempo Master. We recommend to use the Master Clock as Tempo Master when using a complex deck setup. Like this, you can sync all your decks to the Master Clock and adjust the tempo globally for all decks. Note that when a deck is synced to a Tempo Master source, in this example the Master Clock, the tempo of this deck cannot be adjusted manually. It will only react to the tempo changes of the Master. This is represented visually by a grayed out tempo fader. You can also let Traktor assign a deck as Tempo Master source automatically by enabling the Auto button. Now when you press play on a deck, it will automatically become the Master Tempo. As you can see, there can only be one master tempo at a time. You can customize the behavior of your decks in auto mode in the transport section of Traktor's preferences. When remix deck can be tempo master is off, only track decks will be automatically assigned as master. This can be useful in a typical workflow where remix decks are always synced to the tempo of a running track deck and not the other way around. When only on-air decks can be tempo master is active, only decks that are playing to the audience can be automatically assigned as master. This can be useful in a workflow where only decks that are actually playing to the main output should respond to the logic of master tempo and sync.
Next, we will explain the differences between beat sync and tempo sync when syncing the tempo between decks. Beat sync is the safest and most reliable way to synchronize tempo in Tractor. Beat sync will always maintain both tempo and phase synchronization between decks. This means that no matter what kind of actions you perform, whether scratching, beat jumping, or looping, the playback will always remain synchronized to the beat of the master deck or master clock. Please note that the sync function is only reliable on tracks that have already been analyzed. You can have a track analyzed by right-clicking on it and selecting Analyze Async. Or simply by dropping it to the deck, provided the option Analyze New Tracks when loading it to deck is enabled in the File Management section of the Preferences. After analysis, Tractor will generate a stripe and a beat grid for the song. This is what makes synchronization possible. Please consult the corresponding article in the About section of this video to learn more about the beat grid. Tempo Sync ensures that the tempo is locked, but not the phase. This means that there can be offsets in the beat synchronization when performing transport operations such as beat jumps or scratching. In this case, the sync button will change appearance and the phase meter will show an offset. The behavior of tempo sync can be beneficial for DJs who rely on manual beat batching. Consider these two tracks that are synced and running, but at the same time they are out of phase. You can manually adjust the phase by pitch bending. Even when Tractor has already analyzed the song, the beat grid may not have been rendered accurately. With Tempo Sync, you can always apply pitch bend on the phase while the decks are playing. This would be impossible with Beat Sync since the phase is locked accordingly to the beat grid and not to the beat as you actually hear it. We have now learned the principles behind Tempo and Sync and Tractor. You can now decide which options best suit your own workflow.